Ego Eye Opener, excavating the hidden truth. Brethren, I am Hosanna David. I'm here to talk about the confession of evangelist Margaret Amore. Uh, back in January 2013, she released a video titled uh, Back from Heaven with a message from Jesus to the world. And she claimed to have died and went to heaven uh, and also visited hell. She said she saw the torture of people in the fire of hell and that she saw Jesus, she saw Mary Abraham in heaven and she came with a message of holiness and righteousness. Uh, let's just listen to part of the clip of the original video that she released. Viewer, the message you are about to listen to is titled Back from Heaven with message from the Lord Jesus Christ to the world. My names are Evangelist Margaret Osasume Amore. Okay, that is a video, the former message that she released. I was so shocked when someone sent me a link to the video of a confession that she actually forged that uh, supposed revelation from God. It is painful. I was so disappointed. And one thing I did was I went to the internet to get the forged revelation and I decided to listen to it over again. I tell you, I couldn't watch it. I, I was so disappointed. I was saying, how could somebody forge a revelation, say that I've been to heaven, I've been to hell, and I'm back with a message from God. It is wrong, and we, the body of Christ, we condemn it. Why I'm doing this video is this. There are so many people who no longer read the Bibles. Uh, they believe in prophecies. They believe in revelations. They don't care whether what is being said is biblically correct or not. What they just do is run after men of God. If you don't stop running after men of God, you may end up in hell. Run after the word of God. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to church, but you read your Bible. The Berean Christians were always studying the word of God. After the normal meeting, they will go home and read the word of God for themselves to check if what was being taught was the truth but so many christians today no longer do that and because of that a lot of people have been led astray remember that those who must worship god have to worship him in spirit and in truth so we need the spirit of god to discern to discern truth and also fish out the lie uh, there are so many revelations online uh, so many revelations there are there was one of the, these revelations that uh, message that uh, back from heaven also, uh, when I was listening to it, to the lady with a big earring and a worldly look, I, I, I had some doubts inside of me. I concluded in my spirit because of the kind of feelings I had that this revelation was false. It never came from God. There are so many revelations like that. But there are also true ones too from God. I am not saying that there are no true ones. There are some that I have tested and I also attest to them that these ones are really true from God. I also want to talk to pastors and men of God who lie in God's Holy Spirit. And a lot of men of God today don't actually see this to be lie, they could say, the Holy Spirit told me, the Lord is telling me, the Lord told me, the Spirit told me, when the Lord has never spoken to you, you will end up in hell. And on the last day, you will tell the Lord that I prophesied in your name, I raised the dead, I worked in your name, we preached in your name. But Jesus will tell you, get out, you workers of iniquity. And you will be thrown into the fire of hell. So do not lie against the Holy Spirit. If you want to save a soul, I was even saying it this morning, that if you want to save a soul, why lie? You don't need to help the Holy Spirit. Just preach the word. Just tell people Jesus loves you. Repent of your sin. The kingdom of God is at hand. And then the Holy Spirit will do the rest work. You don't need to lie because you want to save souls. 
The Bible says that all liars shall have their place in the lake of fire. If you are a minister of God and you lie to your members or you're a Christian, you lie, please repent. If you have released a video supposed from God and you know it is not from God, please withdraw it. I want to commend the repentance of evangelist Margaret Amore. Not everybody can do this. I want to really commend you. I want to appreciate you for coming out. It is actually not easy for someone who has made a name all over the world, who has traveled to different countries in the name of uh, being, having been to heaven and seeing Jesus Christ went to hell and then later come up to say, I lied. It was a false. Please forgive me. I want to commend your courage and for repenting of your sins. Please just focus on God. This shows that you are really serious and I pray that the Lord will help you to make heaven at last. A lot of people will never try this at all. They would rather choose to go to hell than come out to face the whole world to confess their sins. The Lord bless you for coming out. We, the body of Christ, we receive you and just as you have asked forgiveness, may the Lord forgive you and with the whole of our hearts, we accept you back into the body of Christ again. Just hold on to your faith and preach the truth. Don't allow any temptation like this to come your way and overpower you. I believe you have learned your lesson. For those of you who have false testimonies, please withdraw them. This is a sister coming out to face the shame, to face the blame, to face the talks of men, forgetting about whatever people will say because she just wants to make heaven. She knows that if she had died in her sins, she would have went to hell. She said that she was, she actually did it to confess to God in the secret. But God said, no, you must come out to confess it publicly. Please do not be deceived. It is not every sin that God forgives in the secret. There are some sins that the Lord will say, go and confess it to the world, to the those you've offended. It's part of restitution. The Bible says that confess your sins to one another. So if you don't confess, not every sin you confess in the secret. If you don't confess in the public, the Lord will not never forget, forgive some sins. So please do not risk your eternity. Evangelist Margaret Amore has set an example, which is what every Christian that has been led into temptation should do. We encourage you that you keep on preaching the word of Jesus Christ and don't allow anybody to discourage you. Don't allow the devil to tempt you again. Just take your time to listen to the rest part. Church of Christ, I'm here to confess my sins to you all. That you will pardon and forgive me. But I've come to know that ignorance is not an excuse in the sight of the Lord. I can back myself up with that statement from the scripture. In Luke chapter 12, 47 to 48, the Bible says, And that servant with knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit sin worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom may have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Again in Leviticus chapter 5 verse 17. The Bible says, if a soul sin and commit any of these sins which are forbidden to be done to the commandments of the Lord, though he wills it not, yet is he guilty and shall bear his iniquity. Well, I came to know these scriptures not quite long. Of a truth, I went on pilgrimage to Israel, as I said. I came back and I went to Italy, as I said. I returned home sick for a period of six to seven months. I almost died, but I did not die as I claimed. I told the church of Christ that I died, I went to heaven, and here that I saw the Lord Jesus Christ, Abraham, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. I also said I went to hell, and I saw the devil and people being tortured. 
I'm here to let you know that it was a lie from the pit of hell. It was not true. Please forgive me. I released that message back from heaven after spending more than 34 years in the church without knowing what is restitution, holiness, sanctification, and all that until I came to Holy Mom. I was born again, but not crucified by the word of God. The fear of God was not there. I enjoyed it when I was doing it because I did not know it's a sin that we confess openly. Please, after this confession, I want the Church of Christ to join me in and ask mercy from God. Pastor Paul Rica asked me to make this confession since 2015. I refused. The flesh was still speaking because the word of God was not in me. And when he decided to do it by himself, I was angry because I thought he was punishing me. But the man who later canceled me from the Facebook, Pastor Onye Kamakletus, I don't know him, I have not seen him, it was through telephone, told me that I should have done what Pastor Polika asked me to do, that it was the right thing he asked me to do, that Pastor Polika and others who joined me to take my confession round are my soul deliverers. Please, Church of Christ, it was not God who sent me that message by death. As I claim, I sent myself. Although it was the word of God I preached, but I was not sent. Neither did I see God in heaven. Satan used me to confuse the program of God for this end time. He used me to frame that testimony, to corrupt other testimonies. Today, whether good or bad testimony, nobody believed them again. What I did was very, very bad. I was very, very wrong. If I didn't know more about the Bible, don't I have a conscience? I want to thank God for the person who sent me to Holy Mom in the year 2013. The message was already a year outside. The message came January 17, 2013. By December the same year, the pastor's wife of Fishers of Men Charismatic Church after listening to the message, told me that there is a group called Holy Mom. The leader is Pastor Polika, that they have many people with my kind of message, that if I go there, I will know more about God. So I came December 2015 to Holy Mom. By May 2015, my confession and restitution have started. From August, I was sent away from Holy Mom for my stubbornness to confess my sins openly. It was the same woman who taught me how to dress holiness dressing. Nobody forced me to be here now. It was as a result of many revelations I was getting now. The last one I saw this year, January 2019, a woman came to me three times in my dream and asked me to confess my sins. Then I saw a hand writing on the ground and what he wrote on the ground was Abuja. Please, brothers and sisters, forgive me and join me to plead for forgiveness from the Lord. After much counseling from some good ministers, I agreed that I'm not even worthy to be a preacher of the gospel except God permits me. I stand to judge and condemn my actions. The first time Pastor Polika spoke to me concerning this issue, I can remember he said, Sister Margaret, I'm yet to see a person God loves and show mercy to like you. And that's true. Because I was flying from one country to another, from one state to another, from one village to another. I remember I used the flying boat. If I have died, where would I have been? You all know the answer. Thank you, Father, for your rich mercy upon my life. The devil did not allow me to remember that there is a big eye up there that is watching the affairs of men. I didn't remember that the day is coming that books will be open. Another book will be open, and the secrets of all men shall be revealed and judged. I am very, very sorry for what I did. Please forgive me, brethren. 
November 2017, during the Holy Mom marriage seminar in Abuja, I told Pastor Polika that I was coming. He agreed and sponsored my trip to Abuja. But when I got there, himself and the leaders interviewed me. They discovered that I was not qualified yet. They now asked me to go and wait upon the law for brokenness. Go and seek the face of the law and let him speak to you. But in the presence of the leaders, Pastor Paul Ricard said, My sister, as for me, I have forgiven you and your children for everything and the insult you gave to me. But go and seek the face of the Lord. I thank him and some of the coordinators join me to thank him. I have been asking God for mercy since then. It took me 14 months praying for mercy when this recent revelation came to me now. That I should go and confess my sins and Abuja was risen on the floor. I saw it myself. Confirming what Pastor Polika had been saying. When this revelation came, I called him. He asked me to go and meet my state coordinator for counseling. I went there for counseling. After that, I am here. I equally want to say sorry to those who wouldn't want me to come back here for this confession. Please, it is a thing I must do for my soul's sake. I don't want to go to hell. Jesus Christ enjoyed the cross, despising the shame. When this confession comes to you, if you are truly a child of God, just ask God for mercy for me and don't begin to ask me questions. I decide to do it this way because I don't want to go to hell. The Bible says if you keep the whole law and offend in one, you are guilty of all. I was a liar. I was a cheat, a fraud. To those of you who heard my confession but went and bought what you have destroyed before, I beg you to read your Bible. And you will discover that even the smallest earrings, ring, lipstick, lying, hatred, and so on will take you out of heaven. Nevertheless, forgive me too. I thank Pastor Polika and my family members and Holy Mom who helped me to spread this confession easily. Please pray with me for restoration. And I'm ready for whatever judgment God will use the leaders to pass on me. And I ask God for grace to carry it out. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Uh, I encourage you to stay pure and stay away from sin. Heaven is real. This is someone coming to face shame because she wants to make heaven. Don't hide your sin. Confess it. Come out of your sin. The sin you refuse to confess today, you will confess it in hell. So don't be ashamed. Come out and confess and repent. For those pastors who lie to their members and lie to have seen Jesus, to have gotten a message from God, you are deceiving yourself and you are deceiving the whole world. You need to repent of your sins. It is a very grave offense to lie against the Holy Spirit. I was preaching this evening and I was saying it that if you quote God when God has never spoken to you, it is a sin. Don't ever say the Lord said when you know the Lord has never spoken to you. I've said it a lot of times. It is a sin. Please don't do it. Don't try it. Don't lie at all. And don't you ever lie against God. It is a serious offense. Please don't do it. Listen to the rest part of the testimony. God bless you. Try subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I encourage you to stay pure and stay away from sin. Heaven is real. This is someone coming to face shame because she wants to make heaven. Don't hide your sin. Confess it. Come out of your sin. The sin you refuse to confess today, you will confess it in hell. So don't be ashamed. Come out and confess and repent. For those pastors who lie to their members and lie to have seen Jesus, to have gotten a message from God. You are deceiving yourself and you are deceiving the whole world. You need to repent of your sins. It is a very grave offense to lie against the Holy Spirit. I was preaching this evening and I was saying it that if you quote God when God has never spoken to you, it is a sin. Don't ever say the Lord said when you know the Lord has never spoken to you. I've said it a lot of times. It is a sin. Please don't do it. 
Don't try it. Don't lie at all. And don't you ever lie against God. It is a serious offense. Please don't do it. God bless you. Try subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.